G'day guys, back again. Time for part three of the old uh, freshwater regulations. Today we're going to look at the uh, stock exclusion rules. It's no one's got an issue with stock exclusion. Not on intensive ground anyway. Um, it's yeah, we're not we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but just to go over a few of the, the itchy little bits that they've, they've snuck in there that are rather frustrating. So here we've got a single hot wire. Looks like it's way over the bank there, but it's it's, it's just on. We uh, we keep it nice and close because our weed control on this farm realistically is a mower. So we've got a thistle problem. When I say problem, we have thistles. We like to mow them. We found it's the best form of control. There's about 10,000 volts on this fence. We're uh, not going to touch it. I've done it before with boots on, and it hurts. So there ain't no cattle beast going to go walking under here. I've got a Brake fence up here because this is where my hoggets have their rotation over spring. Not very nice ground to lamb on. It's a bloody shit of a day out there today. Anyway, um, yeah, so currently as it sits, these new rules, this fence that we put up just a couple of years ago doesn't fit the bill anymore. Question Is that the bank or is that the bank? When you look at it like this, I just don't know where to put that mark. Either way, we're not three metres from the bank. We're not too worried about that because, uh, like I said, we want to mow it. See, there's thistles. I didn't get real close here the second time. Um, no thistles out there. Easy. Anyway, back to what I was saying before. Yes, yeah, so there's, there's a few rules that changed here. If we're not, oh crikey, I should have this information on me. It's either three or five metres, it might be five now. Three or five metres back from the bank. Um, you have to have two wires up. Now, there ain't no way cattle are going under these two wires, this single wire. It's not going to happen. Not with that kind of power on it. And we want the single wire so the sheep can still go under there and graze the bank. Now, I'll just turn it around and show you something. See that little sucker there? If the sheep had got down there when he was about three inches tall or less, they would have eaten it. So you can see there's no gorse or anything on these banks to speak of. That is not a dead sheep, by the way. That is a, a log that got washed there in the floods in February. Um, so we do do a wee bit of spraying for gorse, but not much. We don't have to spray for anything else. We don't do any, any other spraying anywhere near water waste. Just gorse and a bit of broom. Sheep will eat the little sycamore shoots that the council don't want us having there. The willow shoots they don't want us having there. The uh, gorse, the broom, provided it's small. They'll just clean all that stuff up. They'll uh, nibble away at it. Even that bit of hemlock there, you see that one, they'll eat that one, it's small. Right down there, where are we there? Yeah, there'd be no issue, they'd just nibble away at it, keep it under control. But with these new regulations, we have to put a second wire up. Now they haven't said where that second wire's got to be, they've just said it's got to be two wires. So we're kind of tempted to uh, work one on the other side of the post at the same height and say, well, it's two wires, it's done. Because we still need the sheep to get under there. If we don't have sheep getting under there and eating those weeds, We've got to spray that. Now it's a cost. It is also a pain in the ass. The other thing that becomes an issue when we fence sheep out of these banks, so there's no real trees or anything on them. We, we could plant trees. We may well one day put some, not big trees, some riparian plantings in there. But at this stage with sheep, that doesn't seem to be something that's required. And I can sort of see why. We run into massive issues with long grass in the banks and they get so big and heavy that it pulls the banks in, so we get what they call stream bank erosion. Now we put this paddock in crop oh, nine years ago now, and we noticed a big change in the bank that year. So no grazing, nothing got grazed. It was just because the paddock was in crop over summer. Well, it was put in crop to grow over summer in the autumn to be grazed in winter. So it was pretty much a year where the banks didn't get grazed at all. And the grass gets long and rough, the gorse and broom gets away. We had to do quite a bit of spraying that year and the next three years. Um, and yeah, I'll just turn it around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you see this stuff down in here, and this, and for a wee bit there. You see it just down in here. Look, we never used to have any of that. Now, someone could turn around and tell me this is an issue because we cropped it, so it's crop's fault. That's not the case, because if we didn't crop it and we fenced it off completely, the issues will still be the same. I just, yeah. So that, we put two wires up here at different heights, which I'm presuming is what they want, then a sheep can't get under there, it all grows long, rank and rough, 
which is great from a filtration point of view, but the banks just keep falling in, which is really not what we want at all, is it? We're fighting to keep sediment out of our little waste. We don't want to be adding to it the stream bank erosion. Anyway, once again, I hope that sort of gives you a bit more of a, a look into why we're getting so gary about this plan, this uh, these new rules. They're not, it's not a plan anymore, they're rules, they're in, they're in force. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really frustrating the lack of uh, practicality that's gone into this. I don't think there's been too many people on the ground that have actually had their, their input taken seriously. Sorry, you know when you're thinking of something and the word just, just does not come to mind? Yeah, well that just happened. Anyway, um, a lot of us, although not enough, put in submissions on this plan and it sounds to me as though those of us that didn't have the time to sit down and spend hours upon hours writing out a, a massive in-depth submission and we used the, the beef and lamb or the dairy and Z templates, it sounds like they were just blatantly ignored. They just they just didn't even pay them any attention at all, which is really frustrating. So, yeah. But anyway, like I said, cheers for watching, guys. Told you it was a log.